Hey what's up guys, Eddie Hand 98 here and today I'm going to teach you how to add controller support into your LibGDX game. So first of all we're going to have our controller, controller, oops, and how we're going to do this is we're just going to search for the first controller that our, our game can find. So we're just going to for loop for all the controllers that are connected to the computer and we're just going to get the first one. Obviously if you're making a multiplayer game or whatnot then uh, you can get two controllers going, or if you want a specific one, uh, what am I doing? What am I doing? Controller. This dot controller equals uh, the first controller that you find. Uh, if you want to limit it for certain controllers, so let's say I only want um, an Xbox 360 controller, so I can get the name if get name dot contains 360. And that'll limit it to only Xbox 360 controllers uh, being added, being set as the controller. Speaking of 360 controllers, uh, you need to get the bu button mapping for each controller. Now, what you can do is you can either have the player set their own button maps, or you can find online the button maps for specific controllers. So I've got the Xbox ones from the internet, uh, the Xbox 360 ones. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new class, 360 map. No, I can't have numbers in it, can I? Xbox map. And in here, I've just gotten the values from the internet, which I will post in the description. Or you can feel free to just pause and, you know, type it in. Um, yep. And the first way you can have your control support work is just simply through polling, polling the control state. So if controller dot get button uh, so let's go Xbox map uh, a button a is pressed then text equals a was pressed uh, I should actually go find there's my 360 controller okay so I've now plugged in my 360 controller uh, it's lit up so we should be ready to go Ah, uh, what? Okay, so having Hello World there actually causes it to crash, so we'll just do that. Hit A, and A was pressed. Uh, can't really prove it to you, but uh, A was pressed. Now the second way to do this, uh, instead of polling, is to use a listener. So how we can do this is create a controller listener, listener, and this should work for basically any controller, I hope so. And there's two ways of doing this. First way is you can set the listener to just this one controller, or if it doesn't matter to you, you can just simply do controllers dot add listener, and that'll just add a listener to all the controllers that are there. And there we have it. That's it for the tutorial on controllers. Have a fantastically brilliant day, guys. I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.